2020 Yamaha MT-09 is really fun and I love it, but I'm selling it. I'll tell you why. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Make sure you're wearing a full gear. If you want to get my gear, I have my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tent shield, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, my Sadichi jacket, shorty gloves, pants, all my gear. I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. <laughs> I know a lot of you are thinking, Cycle Cruiser, why are you selling your MT-09? You just bought it in July of this year. You're ranting and raving how awesome this bike is, how it has so much awesome down low grunt. It's how comfortable it is to ride and just has is a really fun bike. Why, Cycle Cruiser? Well, hey, Yamaha came out with the new 2021 Yamaha MT-09. That's why. <laughs> I just did an overview video on the new bike. Go check that video out. I have a link to it in the description and comment section of this video. Even though a lot of you commented that the new headlight on the new bike is ugly, uh, some of you guys think this headlight's ugly. I think this headlight looks better than the new headlight. But everything else about the new 2021 model is better in every way. It's got brand new suspension. They made the bike eight pounds lighter. They revised the triple cylinder engine. It's got lighter weight internals. It's a better fuel efficiency. I think it gets like five miles per gallon more fuel efficiency. Uh, this app sucker, man, I'm lucky to get 37 miles per gallon out of this bike since I flash tuned it and put on the uh, aftermarket exhaust. So, and it really needs better fuel efficiency, guys, because I, you know, I'll do probably about a four hour riding session with this and sometimes I have to fill up twice. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I've never had to do that. I don't even have to do that on my 2019 YZ450 FX custom supermoto, which by the way, I did a full build series on. Number one, most fun, awesome, amazing bike. I have the link in the description and comment section of this video. Go check it out. Uh, they also, you know, up the power a little bit. I think it has uh, an extra, what, 40 cc plus uh, power on the engine. And they mainly did that because of the Euro 5 emissions. They had to basically cork the bike up a bit more with the new exhaust. So once you remove the exhaust, flash tune it, I'm sure you'll be able to get, utilize that extra power that the new bike produces. Uh, also, it has a new aluminum uh, frame that looks awesome. It's got the new aluminum swing arm. Uh, I think it's a little bit thinner, I think. Um, it's supposedly better handling. Um, like I said, the headlight may look ugly on it, but everything else is awesome about the new bike. So. I think I'm going to go ahead and sell this bike, but also I'm going to hold off though and wait until the new 2021 MT-10 comes out because the main reason why I didn't get the MT-10 is because I, I hate the headlight on that bike. That is, it's so ugly, man. It look, it reminds me of the short circuit robot from the 80s movie, which I love that movie and the robot was cool in there, but it doesn't look cute on a bike. It looks <laughs> to each his own, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But for me, once you throw a leg over your bike, all that matters is how much fun you have on the bike. And the new bike is better than ever, man. Um, but this bike is absolutely awesome though, I'll tell you that. But the MT-10, if they change the looks on that bike, improve the fuel efficiency on that bike, because that bike also has poor fuel efficiency, uh, I could get that bike instead. But I know a lot of you guys are out there like Cycle Cruise. Why don't you just why don't you go get another European bike? Get that new Ducati Street Fighter, you know? No, no more Ducatis for me. I, Ducati is awesome. Don't get me wrong, guys. I love the company. I love how they create absolutely amazing bikes, some of the most beautiful bikes. They have more power. They're lighter weight than the Japanese bikes. But the dealership support sucks. We don't even have one here in, in Northeast Ohio anymore. The one in Akron is gone, and they, they say they're going to replace it, and they haven't. So... 
And you need a Ducati dealership because them things have problems sometimes. You know, the Ducati that I had, I had a problem right off the jump with the rear brake completely went out on it. And there was a couple of recalls that had to be done. Um, otherwise, I love that bike, to be honest with you. But I'm not messing with European bikes anymore, man. I love Yamaha. I'm a Yamaha fanboy certified. Yeah, baby. YZ, MT. Uh, also, I, yeah, I'm a Japanese fanboy, though. I love all the Japanese motorcycles. I love the Kawasaki, Suzuki's, uh, Yamaha, Honda. I love them all, but Yamaha's number one for me. Number two is Honda. So I don't know if Honda comes out with something really sick for 2021. Then I may get that. I don't know. We'll see, man. But I'm like ready to, I don't know. It's like I, I can't have this bike and then there's a better MT-09 that's coming out. I just can't, I can't do it. I got to have the best. <laughs> because it, it, that's what I was waiting for, for them to make some improvements on the bike, uh, namely the suspension. I wish I'd have just held off, but I was in such a rush and I got a, such a sick deal on this. But anyways, guys. For those of you guys who want to buy it, for my viewers only, if one of you guys want to buy it, I will lower the price 500 bucks to 8,500. Otherwise, I'm going to list it for 9,000 online. Uh, it has very extremely low miles. Um, I've actually been doing a lot more riding on the YZ, um, but I, you know, I love this bike too. Don't get me wrong, but this bike I can ride up staircases. I can go ride in the woods. You know, I, I like doing wheelies on this one. I'm going to sell this, like I said, 9000 online, 8500 for one of you guys. If you want to buy it, it's absolutely in mint condition. Brand new. You might as well say this is brand new. It's still under warranty, guys. The one-year warranty until, what, July of next year? And uh, look at that. Absolutely mint. No scratches, nothing. Mint. M-I-N-T. It has never even seen rain, guys. Only dry conditions. I haven't even washed this bike. I just wipe it down. So this, this bike is like brand spanking new still, man. It's got all the mods you really need for it. I got the new, uh, just put these TST Industries LED turn lights on. It's got the TST Industries low profile fender eliminator kit. Just put the license plate light on there. Awesome. The t uh, TST Industries tail light with integrated turn signals and the modulating brake light. Uh, of course, the biggest mod on here is putting the full Akrapovich uh, exhaust uh, carbon and I flash tune the ECU and I will give you with the bike this DynoJet tuner, which you can actually tune this back, the ECU back to stock settings, to the stock ECU settings if you want to. Um, or you can you can change a tune up with this dyno jet thing. This is worth I think like what three hundred dollars or something like that So I throw this in you get two seats with it. You get this uh, This seat here aftermarket seat that has a toolbox underneath it and a flashlight um, And also the stock seat that I have sitting up there, which is in mint condition Like I said, this is all in like brand new condition so you get all this with the bike. I'm not giving these away. By the way, links to get this phone mount and camera mount are in the description and comment section of this video. I'm keeping these. These are awesome. Uh, but if you want to get a set, like I said, I have a link to where you can get it in the description and comment section of this video. And along with the other mods, uh, mods, uh, links to the mods I did on this bike, you can go to my website at psychocruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Mods, and that's links to all the mods I did on all of my bikes, including the YZ here. Awesome bike, man, but <laughs> I got to go with the better bike, guys. MT-10, or it's going to be MT-09, or like I said, if any other sick bike, I may throw you off guard and, and totally surprise you with a totally different bike. I don't know, guys. So tell me, guys, what do you guys think? You think I should get the new MT-09 or wait for this new MT-10 to come out? Or what other bike should I get? I know it's crazy. I, I just got this bike and I'm already talking about selling it. But hey, like I said, guys, I like to have the best. I want the best. man. Like I got the best Supermoto. In my opinion, you can't get any better than this, baby. This is absolutely an amazing bike, and I'm doing a two-year review on this. Can you believe it's been already past two years? I bought this, what, September of 2018. 
awesome bike absolutely this is my number one most fun bike ever man highly recommend the supermoto this is actually a supermoto slash dual sport because i have the shinko 705s which are awesome on the street but they're almost bulletproof you can take them off road and they don't tear um they it has a carcass that you know for off-roading but yet awesome on the street Highly recommend those things. Those are awesome tires, man. And I did a ton of mods. I know a lot of you guys want me to sell this to you, man, because I made it street legal. Uh, it has a street legal motorcycle title, and it's, it's mint, man. Absolutely awesome. But I'm never selling this bike unless they come out with a better one. Uh, then I might sell it to you guys. But So hit me up in an email um, or whatever. Uh, hit me up at Facebook or whatever if you want to buy this bike. Uh, otherwise, like I said, I'm putting it online for 9000 For you guys, 8500 No negotiation. This thing is in mint. Mint condition, super extremely low miles. I'll tell you in the email, it's, it's kind of embarrassing to tell you how low the miles are on this bike. Um, because you're going to be like, Psycho Cruiser, man, what, what's up, man? You ain't riding your bikes that much? <sighs> Dude, I'm running multiple businesses. I'm just starting a new real estate business. And uh, but I've been riding, I've been getting out riding regularly. I just don't ride as much as I used to, you know, as far as long sessions all day long, like I used to. Um, now I get out and I ride maybe a two, three hours, uh, have a little fun out there, and then get back home, get cracking on my work. So, and I'm also uh, got a new property I'm looking at tomorrow, it's like a hundred acres. Yeah absolutely awesome property hopefully it works out to be awesome so i may end up getting that and it's got an absolutely huge uh pole barn garage in there i can put all kinds of bikes my, my bug out moto van my, i just put a new stereo system on here put a new roof rack and i have the new seat uh right here that folds out into a, a bed utility bed which is going to be awesome i'm going to custom paint it i might put a new wheel package on here i dude i love electric golf cars man these things are awesome whip around the yard i get a lot of work done they're just fun man ride down the street listen to some tunes talking to the neighbors it's like a great conversation piece. But anyways, guys, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I want to get your thoughts. Should I go ahead and sell this bike or should I hold on to it for a little bit longer, wait till something sicker comes out? Let's talk. Leave that comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Cycle Cruiser, and also check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.